Hello and welcome to the AV production of Group SMC 15731. This project is about approximation of audio signals using Matching Pursuit. Approximation models can be used for signal analysis, compression, enhancement and modification of individual elements in a signal. However, as we're dealing with the very building stones of such techniques, we will have to go in detail. How can an algorithm using matching the suit be created such that it can approximate an audio signal? X of n, the input signal, is approximately equal to the sum of alpha i as scalar times g i, the atom chosen in the iteration, which is equal to the sum of alpha times d of m of i, which is the dictionary element in index i. What we want to find now is the atom which is part of a dictionary. The dictionary consists of many complex sinus functions. We simply call these atoms. The atom should minimize the true norm of the residual signal Ri, which we define as. From here on out, we will refer to dm of i of n as gi of n. We start the iteration by setting the residual equal to the input signal. The alpha value is found by the inner product of gi and ri. This is possible when we assume atoms in the dictionary are restricted to unit norm. The figure to the right shows the principle. We find the atom that best approximates the signal, and then we find the length that minimizes the length between the two vectors. This gives us the alpha, or weight, of the atom. The two norm of ri plus 1 of n can then be expressed as such, which can be minimized by maximizing the norm of alpha. In more basic terms, we are finding the atom whose inner product with the signal has the largest magnitude. The atom is then subtracted from the residual. The effect of the amount of atoms. The more atoms or iterations, the better approximation we'll get. Here we see 200 samples going from one atom to 100 atoms. Signals with few partials and few transients will be better approximated. We test three different audio signals, a flute, an organ and castanets. Residual signal to noise ratio plot. In order to test which signal got approximated the best, we measured the SNR dB of each signal. Basically, the less energy in the signal signal compared to the input signal, the higher value we'll get. If we listen to the signals, we can clearly hear a difference. In conclusion, using a matching pursuit algorithm with a dictionary of GABA atoms, a signal such as a flute with no transients and few partials is better approximated giving the same amount of atoms. Thank you for watching.